When you want to get a handle to these control elements from within the markup, you can make use of a template reference variable. And since the ngControl name directive is being used via the ngControl attribute, it's easy to wire up that template reference variable to the control. However, the explanation is kind of complicated. So if we check out the documentation on the ngControl name directive, we can see that this is exported as ngForm. This is the name that can be used to assign this directive to a variable within a template. Now this ngControl name directive extends the ngControl directive. And this ngControl directive actually extends the abstract control directive. And this abstract control directive has getter properties for things like value, valid, errors, and more. This means that you can get access to all of these off the template reference variable. So over in the order sheet component HTML, I'll get a handle to the specialty sandwich control and show or hide the section with the build your own fields based on whether or not the user has selected a specialty sandwich. So on the select element for specialty sandwich, I can add a template reference variable using the hash and giving it a name. I'll use specialty sandwich and then set that equal to the string ng form. And down near the build your own header element, there is a section element that surrounds all of these fields. I can add an ng if to that, setting it equal to the expression not specialty sandwich dot value. And if I bring this up in the browser, the build your own is displayed. And if I set the select option to one of the specialty sandwiches, it gets hidden. And switching back to the empty option, shows it again. So you can use the ng form export from the ng control name directive to get a handle to the wired up control objects. I will use this template reference variable technique in upcoming videos when I go over validation feedback.